And welcome back to Hoopsville. Clearly not in studio. I'm here at NYU in New York City uh, on the Friday. So we're going to be taping this before the Sunday games, obviously, but we're airing this on Sunday night. I'm joined by Coach Neshi, and after a huge win, 91-67 over number four, Wash U. You guys came out firing to start, got up to an 11-0 lead, and you guys just didn't look back from there. Yeah, I, it was just one of those games where offensively we just hit our stride early, uh, had confidence, and I think our offense kind of helped our defense. Uh, really energized us, and uh, you know we just played with tremendous energy on both ends of the court that first half. Shot over 50% for, for the game. At one point, you were 10 for 20 from beyond the arc. Cooled slightly uh, by the end of the game, but not by much. You guys clearly had the outside game going, but that opened up a lot of opportunities inside as well. Absolutely. And, you know, we, have, we feel we can score the ball inside, but certainly we have to be able to play out of double teams. And if we get our perimeter players to knock down some shots, it allows our post players to go one-on-one -on -one where we think they could be real effective. When you guys scouted Wash U, did you see something maybe in the Chicago game where they certainly struggled uh, or in other games where they may have won that you could take advantage of? Or was this just one of those, you know Wash U that well, you just had to go out and execute? No, we, we just had to try to go out and execute. It, you know, they, they're just really solid across the board. And, you know, they had a poor shooting game and certainly in the first half it happens um, it was just one of those games so you know it's 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 kind of like you, you see what you get with with Wash U. they're very well coached they're fundamentally sound they play really hard and you have to come and bring it you know every time you play them it's a, it was you know you almost wanted to wait for the cool off period from you guys almost wanted to hit that lull where Wash U would make a run on you and a couple times they made a couple mini runs on you guys and whether you called timeout or the team just weathered it you guys really stayed composed yes the guys did a good job we seemed to come up with a big basket just like you said um, when they went on a you know a, maybe they hit two threes and you know a couple of baskets in a row and the guys were able to execute and kind of stem the tide or we'd hit a three to kind of get things back on balance you know, listen, Wash U certainly played good defense. You guys just seemed to find it. Harris, transfer from, from Seton Hall, certainly made a big impact. He's been making an impact in the last few games you guys had. How much does that dynamic change? Now you got a guard who can not only hit from outside, but he can drive and penetrate. He had a couple nice moves tonight. Yeah, it certainly helps us a lot. It, ge it gives us that, that, again, additional perimeter threat. And uh, it's certainly opening things up, you know, for the rest of the players. Talk about your inside presence. I, I, I almost was taken aback by how big you guys are. I, I always know you have big players inside, and you got some talent. But you got two or three guys there now that are making post pretty impressive. Yes, yes, and you know, I think the best part about it is that they're able to challenge each other every day in practice. Uh, the competition in practice is pretty, pretty stiff. So as long as you work hard, you're going to make that improvement. So guys like Costas and Evan and Patrick, you know, um, and Alec, you know, those four guys, just the four, uh, really, really go at it each day, and, and it certainly makes a difference and gets us ready for league play. Obviously, we're talking before you're going to take on Chicago, so we don't know that outcome. Obviously, by the time this airs, we will. But what's, how do you now focus on not having a letdown against Chicago? Just because you got a big win, you're at home, now you got two days to kind of sit on it. Who knows how much the weather might affect some things. How, much do you, how do you have to drive these guys home a little bit to make sure they're ready for Chicago? Oh, they're going to be very ready for Chicago because they all know that Chicago uh, had an excellent performance against Wash U to start the season. Yeah. And I don't know what the outcome of their game was tonight, but going into tonight, you know, Chicago was undefeated in the league. So it won't be hard to get these guys ready to go. What do you see in Chicago? What do you see in the rest of this league that, that maybe gives you a bit of a handicap of what's going on? Emory beat Case uh, tonight. You've got so they've taken their first loss. You've got you guys have stepped up to the plate at two and two. Wash U's now two and two. Chicago again maybe undefeated still. What what do you see in Chicago? What do you see in the rest of this league that's making it so competitive? Oh well, it's just a lot of very very well coached teams with a lot of talent. You know you, these young men find the opportunities to play in a conference like ours as you know very attractive. So you know all these teams are really really solid. Uh, you know I mean. Uh, we, obviously, we've seen Chicago on tape, and we know 
you know, how physical they are and, and how talented they are. And, and certainly we still, you know, we have a few of the others. We still uh, will be seeing Rochester and Emory next weekend. So it's it's a battle every every night. And, of course, you got to go to Chicago and, and St. Absolutely. Louis. I have a feeling the Bears are going to be looking forward to seeing you come to their place. The road part of this is the toughest. How do, how do you take advantage of home court, but how important is the road, too? Well, you know, the road, it's, it's like anything else. I think that... Um, the, the, it's it's a bit it's a great part of their overall experience. I feel for our athletes, the time away that they spend together off the court. Um, you also have con a little more control of them um, as regards to the amount of rest they're getting when you're on the road, and then just getting to play in some of these other arenas is is just really neat. When you look at what you guys have this year, made the NCAA tournament back in 2012 after a long hiatus. I think it was 1998, the previous occasion. Can this team make a run in this UAA, maybe a little undersung, make a run and, and get there for the automatic bid or at least position yourself for an at-large? Well, I think we can, but, you know, it's one of those things where that's so far down the line right <laughs> now. And, and, you know, with the level of competition, I would tell you that, you know, there are, there are probably five, five, five of us at least yeah. that I think definitely merit, you know, or can, like the thought of, of a postseason in the NCAA, that's how good the league is. But I, I certainly think that, you know, we have the makings of it as well. We certainly have the potential. Got to take a moment to talk about this home floor. Not many games left here yes. on the Sports Center floor. You guys will lose the entire building for a number of years. You guys won't have a home. It's a little bit bittersweet here this season? Uh, you know what? Honestly, I haven't been giving it a lot of thought because of kind of just being in the moment yeah um, it kind of passes every now and then but haven't thought about it too much I'm sure as the season continues and we get closer uh, probably thinking a little bit more about it and you know certainly it, it, it'll be uh, I have nothing but fond memories pretty much so uh, yeah I'm sure I'll be thinking more about it as we go of course big win over Wash is a nice way to yes. put a note on it but I gotta ask this when you're recruiting how hard is it to say to a guy we're not going to have a home floor maybe your entire career. Yeah, it's difficult, but the, the fortunate thing for us is that our student athletes are making the decisions about coming to New York University, not just yeah. on the basketball side. And that's a big plus for us. And in year one, it hasn't hurt us already as, <laughs> as regards to a couple of young men who, through early decision, have already told us they're coming. How excited are you about this season? I mean, again, we're talking your, what, 12 and 4, 11 and 4. 11 I, and four. Thank you. Can't, can't, can't remember it off the top of my head. How excited are you about this season? That, and, and to get a win like this after, you know, maybe just kind of laying low for a while with everybody. Yeah, it's, it's great. You know, I think the biggest thing is it, it, it kind of exudes or builds confidence in our players. And, you know, um, you know, we really only have, we have two seniors on our team, one who plays some. And then after that, it's a lot of, you know, sophomore juniors and, and a freshman so uh, you know we still see our, our our ceiling in front of us so it's exciting and the guys are real excited about it and it's a it's a tight-knit group too so it's fun to watch you should point out also a sweep here at the sports center both men and women beating wash yeah, it's pretty, been a while since that's happened pretty exciting absolutely yeah. hey before we let you go we always give the guests the final word any final thoughts you want to share with those who might be watching no just uh, keep watching d3 hoops well, thanks, Coach Nashi. Okay. Appreciate that. Coach Nashi here from NY.